This is part three of the calculator tutorial to get used to the OGT calculator. And this tutorial is going to discuss exponents and roots and how to use those buttons on your calculator. So if you do not have your OGT calculator handy, please press pause, go get it so that you can actively participate in this tutorial. The first um, one we're going to discuss are the exponents. And there are two buttons on the OGT calculator that you can use for um, exponents. And those are these two buttons right here. You will see the X squared button is the one that you want to use when you are raising anything to the second power. And then what I like to call the up arrow, also called the caret key. And this button is going to be used for any exponent, any power other than two. So to plug this into your calculator, 3 to the second power, you are going to first type in your 3, and then you are going to hit the x squared button, and then hit equals. 3, x squared, equals, and your calculator will go ahead and do that, and you should get an answer of 9 in the results screen. For these next two, we see that there is, they are powers other than 2. So we are going to go ahead and use this up arrow key or this caret key. And first you type in your base, the 5. And then you want to hit the caret key. And then you are going to enter the power that you are taking it to. And then hit equals 5 to the third power. And the answer that you get is 125. Okay, at this point, why don't you go ahead and try the third one. Notice how there are parentheses there, and uh, it's going to be to, to, towards your advantage to learn how to use the parentheses of this calculator. Whenever you are in doubt or have any question, uh, go ahead, use the parentheses, and it will ensure that you uh, do get the right answer. The keystrokes that you want to use to do this, uh, you are going to go ahead and do the open arrow, and then hit the negative button, and then your 2, and then close the arrow, and each of these are their own key. And at that point, this is exactly what you're going to see uh, in the entry line. You're going to see negative 2. And then you go ahead and hit the caret key to the fifth power. And then hit equals. And you get your answer of 32. What this is doing when you do this, negative 2 to the fifth power means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So you're multiplying 5 twos, but you also have 5 negatives. And every time you multiply negative times negative, negative times negative makes a positive. Negative times negative makes a positive. So those four negatives all turn into something positive, and then you have one negative left. And that's why your answer says negative 32. Sorry, I forgot to put that negative there in the first place. OK, so you have negative 32. Next, we're going to go ahead and look at roots. And that will be either square roots or some other roots. And again, it's going to be these same keys, but instead of the buttons themselves, you are looking on top of the button. If you look on top of the x squared key, you're going to see the square root symbol. If you look on top of the caret key, you're going to see the x. Let's get out of this. Okay. It says x with then a little root key. So you use that one for any root other than 2. Okay, I have listed the keystrokes here for you to plug in. If you want to find the square root of 121, first you hit the second key, and then the square root button, plug in your 121, hit equals, and you get 11. 
to do the fourth root of 81, you have to put that root in first. So we're going for the fourth root. And then go through and do the second key to activate the xth root of, plug in the number, the 81 equals, and then you will get 3. Go ahead and try the third root of 729 on your own. And for the keystrokes, put the 3 in first, and then your second key, and then the root button, and then your 729 equals, and you'll get 9. Okay, and that is how you go ahead and use exponents and roots with your calculator. Uh, again, they are these buttons right here. If you're doing x squared or the square roots, they have their own button. Any other root or exponent, use the carrots or the uh, button on top of the carrot. Okay, we have one more problem in this application, and that is to do um, an application problem. The figure shows four points on the number line, and we want to know which point represents square root of 27. So the first part of this is to go ahead, use your calculator to find what the square root of 27 is, just like we had done. We see 5.196, blah, 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 blah. And uh, that's what your display shows. So we can see that the square root of 27 is a little bit more than 5. Now, if you look on the number line, which of these uh, points is a little bit more than 5? We see 5 here. That's our S. Go ahead then, look at your answers. And B is the choice that we want.